Hi, welcome to Love Uncut. My name is Sophie No, and today we're gonna to be talking about being unequally yoked. Equal means even, and yoked means to come together. But when you're unequally yoked, it means you're not coming together, you're not meshing well. So we're gonna discuss five things that make you unequally yoked. Hi, welcome back. Okay, so today we're gonna discuss five things that make you unequally yoked. The first one is not having the same vision. Okay, so say you're in a relationship with your partner or you're starting to date someone and you have one idea of what your future looks like and that other person, your partner, has a different idea of what their future looks like. And you're trying to come together and create that future together, but something's happening where it's not, you wanna be on top, they wanna be in the middle. If somehow, some way, both of you don't either both want to be on top or both wanna be in the middle, then that means that you're unequally yoked. You're not coming together well. You're not able to see the same picture. Number two, is being unable to compromise. Uh, a lot of us probably experience that. <laughs> being with someone that is just not able to compromise and no matter how much you try to show them that they need to compromise or even you, how much you, your partner is trying to show you that you need to compromise, you're just unable to do so. Not being able to compromise means that you're unequally yoked. Three, lack of communication. Yeah, that's a big one. I think we all experience at some point in our relationship or friendships or while building a partnership that there's a missing piece to the puzzle, which is that lack of communication. When you're unable to communicate with one another, whether it's about what we're gonna have for dinner or how your day went or what that person said to you yesterday that upset you or you just wanna basically lash out but you're unable to do so because you're either afraid to lose that person or you're afraid that they're going to misunderstand you so you keep everything inside and you just shut down and you just stop communicating and vice versa your partner is doing the same thing when you're unable to communicate with each other just speak with one another openly about the things that are important about the things that needs to be done so that you can move on to a better stage in your partnership relationship or friendship that means that you're unequally yoked number four comfort levels so i know you're like what comfort level mm. let me explain when you are in a relationship that is equally yoked your comfort level is beyond measures it's so beautiful, it's so easygoing and pleasing. You feel like you could be yourself, you feel like you can just do anything with that person because they make you feel like you can, you can just be you and they feel like they can be themselves with you. Now, when you feel like you can't be yourself or you have to walk on eggshells you have to be careful what you say you have to be careful how you say it you have to you have to be someone else to be with that person they have to be someone else to be with you that means that you're unequally yoked and last but not least number five not being sexually compatible yes yes that's a big one yes when you are not on the same page sexually when you don't have the same ideas of what your sex life should be or can be or will be, that means you are unequally yoked. When you are both into experimenting with toys and even, you know, with different partners, if you're open to anything sexually and you just want to please your partner and they want to please you and they feel the same way you do about sex and they're open-minded about it, that means you are equally yoked. But when your partner just wants to lay there and just take the pleasure while you do all the work. <laughs> then that means you're not equally yoked. When you're not seeing eye to eye on 
what is sexually pleasing to you or them, it means that you are unequally yoked. So in essence, being equally yoked just means working as a partner. Let me give you an example. Football teams, basketball teams, hockey teams, any anyone that works as a team, as a unit, they have to have these five components. Very important, okay? So they have to have the same vision. That means that they see that trophy, they see that ring, um, they see possibilities, they see endorsements. So they have to work together to make that magic happen for them to win, right? They have to compromise and say, okay, so um, you're gonna play this position that day, you know, that's your position, that's what you do, then this is my position. I'm gonna let you shine in that position, I'm gonna shine in my position, and you and I are gonna work together as a team to help each other shine. They tell one another, hey, this is the project that we have going on, this is the project that, you know, is going to help us go to the top this is the play that's gonna make this game today this is how we're gonna win this game we're gonna do it together as a team and they 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 strive for that they push each other and um they lift each other up you know through that communication they're comfortable with one another their comfort levels they're totally comfortable with each other they feel they know each other's next play they know what the other person's gonna say they feel like they can be themselves. If they screw up, then they're not gonna be scrutinized. They don't feel like they have to walk on eggshells. They just feel like, hey, we're gonna go out there and we're gonna kick ass and we're gonna, we're gonna kill it together. And, uh, you know, not being sexually compatible. It doesn't really go there. Huh. Although, being sexually compatible doesn't really fit the team basketball, football. I, I will say this, being sexually compatible fits in the team, as in the team that you're trying to build with your partner because that is the person that is going to be pleasing you and you're the person that's going to be pleasing them. So you have to be on that same page, you have to be in that same realm in order to make that magic happen to come together so that you can be equally yoked. Any successful relationship is built on being equally yoked. Being able to communicate, being able to compromise, being able to feel comfortable. I feel like my breasts are equally yoked. They love each other. They play as a team. They work well together. Okay, okay. You wouldn't give two shits about that. So the question of the day. Do you believe that you've been in a relationship that was unequally yoked? What made you unequally yoked and how did you handle that situation? Let me know, comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. <laughs> Thanks for listening. Once again, my name is Sophie No and this has been Love Uncut. Bye.